Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to perform the initial setup on an ASUS router. I'm using in my example the ASUS router AC68U, which is the AC1900 router, but the instructions I'm gonna show you apply to almost all ASUS routers. To perform this, you need of course the modem of your ISP, the router, you need a PC, a laptop, a Mac, any computer so that you can access the web interface of the router to set it up and of course you need also ethernet cables one ethernet cable to connect the router to the isp's modem and one ethernet cable to connect the router to the pc so to configure it to start the configuration all the devices should be turned off so your internet service provider's modem should be turned off and the router also should be turned off so to start the power on sequence you need first to power on the isp's modem and now I'm plugging it in. And when you plug it in, you need to wait for the LED lights to light up solid green here. So I'm gonna give it two minutes. When the lights are solid on the modem and they are not blinking anymore, you need to connect the modem to the router using an ethernet cable. And this is an ethernet cable here. So turn the modem and on the back of the modem, you have a connection here. So connect it. So this is an RG45 connection. And on your back of the router here, you have a WAN connection and you have LAN connections. It is important to connect the modem to the WAN connection, to, to this one here. And when you connect your router to the modem on the WAN connection, turn on the router. And you need to wait for the router to light up solid blue while waiting for the router to boot up. If you're reconfiguring an old router and you don't know the password to it, you need to reset it. And to reset it, when it boots up, press and hold this reset button here for 10 seconds, and then the router resetted. Like other models of routers, maybe they have the reset button somewhere else, but this one has it here. So now the router booted up, as you see. The next step to do is to connect the router to your computer to configure it. So you need to connect one of the LAN ports of the router to the LAN port of your computer. And I'm going to do this now. And now let me switch to screen recording and show you how to configure the router. On the PC where you connected the router physically, open a web browser and go to the site router.asus.com. And because the router is new or resetted, you'll get the splash screen to configure the router. So here you have two options, create a new network or advanced settings. I'm going to click on create a new network. And here you get the option to create your wireless network. But maybe before it will give you the option to create your wireless networks. And depending on your internet service provider service that it gives you. So either it gives you automatic IP or static IP and maybe PPPoE. So you need maybe to enter another information and this information your ISP will give it to you. So if you have a static IP, the ISP will give you your IP and your subnet mask and this sort of stuff. And if you have PPPoE, it will give you also your ISP. They will give you a username and a password. In my case, I have a dynamic IP, so it connected to the internet automatically. So here, it will give you two options to create a 2.4 gigahertz network and a 5 gigahertz network. So let me create first a 2.4 gigahertz. So I'm going to name it KST24 and I'm going to give it a password, strong pass. And for the 5 gigahertz network, it took the same name and it appended it with 5G. I don't like this, so I'm going to put KST5 simply here. And for the wireless security, it took the same key also from the 2.4 gigahertz network. I'm going to leave it as it is, and I'm going to click on apply. And here it will ask you to provide a router login name and a password, and this is to manage the router. So I'm going to keep it simple here. Of course, you can put the name and password you want. And when you put the new password and you reconfirm it, click on next. And here it found that there is a new firmware for the router and it's very important to upgrade the firmware of the router. So click on firmware upgrade if you get this option and wait for the firmware to upgrade. Here it says it takes approximately three minutes. 
it's very important not to turn off the router when the firmware is upgrading on the router. And now the firmware upgrade is finished. Click on next. And on this page, you'll get a summary of what you have configured. So now we need to wait for the computer to reconnect to the network because now the router is applying this configuration. So after the summary, the router restarts by itself. So give it a couple of minutes and it will redirect itself automatically to the sign in page here of the router. So you remember we have put admin as a user and for the password you have put strong pass one, two, three and click on sign in. And now there are also a couple of configurations that I'm gonna show you that they are important to do before like using the router. So the first one is AI protection. So click on AI protection and make sure that AI protection is enabled. So click on agree. Okay. Okay. And now the router will be rebooted. So wait for it to reboot. After AI protection is enabled, you need to log back into the router. And now I'm going to show you how to enable guest network. It's always a good idea if you have your friends come over to connect them to the guest network and not to your main network. So click on guest network here. And let's enable the guest network under 5G. Click on enable. And let me name it here KST5 guest and give it a password. Do not leave it on open system. So choose WPA2 personal and put a password for your guest network. For the guest network, there are many other configurations. For instance, you can limit the time that they can connect to your network and this sort of stuff. And it's very important to keep access intranet disabled so that they don't access your actual network. So now click on apply. So now the initial setup on the router is finished. I'm going to disconnect the router and I'm going to show you how I'm going to connect to the wireless network. So the router now is disconnected as you notice. So click on the icon here. I have Windows 11. Of course, if you have another type of operating system, perform the same on the other type of operating system. So I'm going to enable Wi-Fi first and I'm going to click here on the arrow. And let me see the network that we created, which is KST5. And I'm going to keep it on connect automatically. Connect. Let's put the password. Strong. Pass. One, two, three. And then let's click on next. And now it should connect. And now it is connected. Let's check the internet. And here's my website working. So that was it for the initial setup of an Asus router. Please leave me in the comment if you need me to cover other aspects of Asus Router's configurations, and I'll be glad to answer your questions. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and it will help the channel greatly. Thank you once again, and see you in the next video.